after a after a, an incident free race one the forecast was for a forecast after a quite clean race one talk on the paddock was uh, that the possibility of uh, this race number two being a much more chilled one because at the back of the peloton there was still a trophy to decide the first ever asia trophy but well predictions are there to be proven wrong look at what is going to happen on the first 200 meters of the race so Coronel gets the better start, but now look to the... Did you see that on your right? Yeah, Michelet sitting the barrier at Reservoir. He bounces back here into the middle of the pack, causes a pile-up that involves Bordman, Stefano Daste, Daniel Young, Calco, Hugo Valente, Benani, Kozowski and McDowell. And naturally the, lap, the race was suspended on lap one. There you see Coronel, Nash, Afmontaire, Thompson, Chilton, Muller, the favorites all had passed, all were ahead of this uh, massive uh, pile up. Now let's go back to the paddock and as if get inside the car, hosted by the unfortunate fresh driver, Hugo Valente, making his first appearance at Macau. Let's. <laughs> This, uh, this is a blind curve, you cannot see absolutely okay. nothing, yeah, you okay. cannot see, so when you pass, what do you see? Uh, I mean, the, the first the first uh, corner was just crazy, I mean, I, I was just there and then cars touch and, and in the thick of the action you can't do anything. Right, yeah, Michelin sitting the barrier at Reservoir, he bounces back here into the middle of the pack, causes a pile-up that involves Bordman, Stefano Daste, Daniel Young, Calco, Hugo Valente, Benani, Kozowski and McDowell. Yeah, I try to, to, to avoid the contact but there's nothing you can do, it happens so quickly, especially here the visibility is very bad because when you follow a car in front of you, you can't, you can't see anything else. No, you, so, is it? Is that? Yeah. Is that you can really... So you, you actually you have to follow more and, and hope that nothing bad happens. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a bit that, like that. But uh, as you can see at the crash, I, I, I like to see the, the images because it, it, it looked quite crazy. But, uh, yeah, it, it is. It is. It is. Uh, it is. But yeah. the, the perspective is not not so clear on on what happens. Is there's a car in front? I, I don't know who touched who at the beginning, but I, I just know that I arrived there and <laughs> there was no more space. No more space. So the unfortunate uh, fresh driver, Hugo Valent promising to come back to Macau. Um, after the restart behind the safety car, Coronel led Thompson from lap, lap 3, Shilton overtook Nash for third, also on the same lap. It was on lap 3 as well that uh, Ivan Muller hit the barrier on San Francisco, but was able to rejoin. On lap 4, Thompson, Shilton, Nash and Duff fighting for second. Behind Monteiro pits with a broken brake disc after being hit by Ivan Muller. On lap 5, Shilton stopped on the track and Macau's driver Eurico de Jesus crashed violently into Shilton's back. Accident happening up there at uh, San Francisco with many people just don't being able to understand why it took so long for the race director to show the red flags because there was time to stop look at the pile and now one two three four five six seven here near the the, the fence look at that marshal there he's totally oblivious of what's still to come and what's still to come is much faster first here stupidity Absurd this move here by the driver, and then Tarquini, Merzi, Larini manages to stop, but he's going to be hit from the behind later. I think now we can have the few highlights of a very very short race with um, 
of a Nash overtaking second, uh, Thompson for second and third here, exactly here, precisely here. Oriola is gonna. That was uh, Muller eating at uh, San Francisco, and now again the crash, the crash, the big big crash. Fortunately, all drivers were okay, and all marshals as well. That was a really really big concern down there. And uh, by here the race was done and dusted, almost. Look at this outrageous maneuver. Whoa! And then look not only at the outrageous maneuver by the offender, but at the counter maneuver by the offended James Thompson with his car expiring at the entrance to San Francisco. Now sees Rob Huff leading and Pepe Oriola managed to pass, to overtake Tom Coronel for second. So, F wins from Oriola and from Coronel 